Hi guys, welcome to Sons of Cain. On this video, we're on Kev's journey, which is the karate part, and we're looking at the first kata, which is Gekasai Dai Itch. What I will be doing is our version of Gekasai Dai Itch. Gekasai Dai Itch means, for us, attack and smash number one. It was created by Chojin Yagi in the 1940s circa 1946 and then what we will do we'll look at the first three moves only adapt it to cane to cane seated and the bunkai techniques that you can pr produce from that uh, i'm looking at the first three moves at gekka side edge again this is our version of the kata there are variants of this our first move is yoi people think yoi ready position this is an actual technique there's various yois you can use in different katas, different systems have different ways of doing it. Whichever way is your way, think about the bunkai for this move. We have slightly bent elbow, our palms are slightly in front of our belly button or our dantian, and we've got a fixed fingers and we're in a rigid, firm position. We always have place our left hand on top of our right hand. This again goes into the yin yang theory, pressure point theory, and Buddhism as well. So even though they're small details, all these small details bring the kata together. First move will be to look. As with anything, where the head goes, the body will follow. Our perceived attacker will be coming in from our left side, so we'll be turning to the left. So we are taking our weight, placing it on our left foot, sliding our right foot through, turning our body into a left sanchin stance, and then bringing a left egg UK. With our egg UK, this is the block, this is the first piece. It comes through, we are rolling this to flick it away. The other arm comes on the outside as the first hand goes into your position, second hand comes over and rolls with this nice 90 degree angle so we produce our strength triangle and making sure you're clearing the head. So you're not too low or too straight, but you're covering the head, protecting the head. As with all things, don't forget, emphasize the breathing, the contraction of the stomach, getting the core involved. Second move is to step forward in San Chin to do our upper punch. From the first position, San Chin starts in a classic upper punch. With the punches, as before, we have a relaxed fist, tension at the end, gripping the floor with our feet, engaging the core, focusing our power onto the end of our fist. So when we punch, as we said before, when we punch we have at an angle, 45 degree angle, sometimes a vertical fist, but we don't do upper strikes with the classic horizontal fist. As if you were punching, these pieces would hit first, with here, this will fit the body, it will fit the face, and it won't actually cause any wrist bend as we do our strike. The last move is to step back. We step into a shikanach, so we've got a nice long deep stance. Our arm is staying in line with our attacker. We're coming across the face, fist on the shoulder, as we pull and push. As our wrists meet, we are doing a tear in motion and bring our knuckles to the front as we complete the move. The hand is above the knee, it's not to the side, to the front or above. Hand in your position, our head is still focused to the left. With our system, we use shikadach rather than keep it at. The important thing with this stance is bringing the weight down. We're centering our core, bringing our weight down. The feet slide. And as we bend our knees, we want our knees to, if you look down, you should just be able to see your toes. We are not going, for us, we don't have these really deep stances. So we are here. It keeps our centre of gravity low, so as we're stepping, we can pull, drop our centre, and then we develop more power. With all stances, they are the key, they're the foundation. Most of our throws, our takedowns, our techniques, all come from our stance. So the better the stance, 
the better the technique. Right. For the first three moves, Kev today is using his chair, so we're going to adapt this for Kev. Again, first position is Joy. As you can see, left hand on top, slightly away from the body. We've got this nice, slightly bent elbows. We've got, if I've got anything here, it's in a strong position. That is a firm position. So the first move would be looking to where the, the opponent would be. So he's looked, changing position. His arms come round. He's at the correct height and he's still got in that roll. Nothing has changed. Everything has stayed the same. All we've done is lowered the center of gravity. You can see his elbow is not quite in line as it would be, but due to the chair, we can't put our arm in that position. All chairs are different, so they suit each individual, so this is something you need to look at and adapt to suit that person. What we're not going to do is lock the brakes off, lock the brakes on, move, lock them off and do the technique. What, the way we're doing is, the attack is coming in, we've got the block, we're then going to go straight into the punch, Again, you can see the elbow flaring out, punches at the correct height. Though it's head height for Kev, this would actually be in the region of my solar plexus, maybe the throat. Depends on your attacker as well. If Kev was to actually lift it up to head height, he's actually losing power and he's becoming more vulnerable and his, his attack is weaker. So this is why we're saying keep it to your head height, you've got a strong position you've still got strong targets to attack. This is at 45 degrees, elbows in the oil position. With the last move, we've got two options for getting out right. We can do the tearing motion as before. So the arm will come down, sweep across, the other arm will hit the top of the arm, slide down, and then we'll be tearing and ripping at the end. Alternatively, if we want to get off the centre line, Rather than doing the sweeping motion, we're going to use the chair to swing through 90 degrees and block with the other arm. The head is still focused this way, the body is still off, off line. Different technique, it will all depend on your attacker and the scenario in hand. The last move will be from there to do the turn. So we'll be facing the other way, or it may be we only need to turn 90 degrees. Block is through and out. That is the first sequence for Gekka Side Day Itch. Attack and Smash number one. So, with the cane, I choose this as my yoy position for catters. You can use this position, but for more of a natural flow, this is going to be the more likely position that I will be in. So, this is my preferred. There is no wrong, there is no right, this is my preference. Still got that yoy position, I've still got that strong position. My perceived attacker, so I'm still going to apply the same rules. Each time I do this, it may be slightly different than previously. It all depends what one kind of thinking in my head at the time. But the principle is, I'm getting off their centre line, I'm protecting, I'm then taking the, the attack, whatever it is away, I'm reinforcing. I'm coming in with my attack, it's linear, I'm bringing them down low. So at this point, I'd be hooking down, swinging them down. The principle of the attack is going to be the same. Perceived attacker, so I'm going to take the attack away from my face, protect myself, I'm going to be striking in, and then to bring them down, I'm going to go into my stance, I'm going to hook. This is where the stance is important, I'm going to bring them down. The next move is to turn the other way. So this would be my clearance. What I wouldn't be doing is turning my attack back on my attacker until I'm sure that they've been dealt with. We're going to do this with two canes. What Kev's going to do is reverse the grip on one cane and keep a standard grip on the other cane. So I'm going to stand slightly off in case I get struck. So again, perceived attack is going to be coming in from the left. Having got as much mobility, creating the tripod, stable base. First initial, we're going to take the attack, get rid of it, reinforce it. 
cane to create a tripod we've got a stable base we can then reverse the canes back to the tripod and we have the attack it can be a poke a jab it can be a linear strike or rotational strike it doesn't matter for the get amber eye we've created the tripod we've hooked brought them down brought them to a level position and to ensure we have another strike just to make sure our opponent won't bother us anymore. Reversing the can grip so we can go to the other side. The clear, create a base, the block. Striking our opponent, creating our base, hooking, drawing them down, striking clear. Now we're going to side eye itch with the mini cane. As with the first bit, we're looking, we're coming across. We can actually use the cane this time to bring up the upper block. Strike through with the cane. They grab the end of the cane. We turn, we yank through. It is a bit hard to actually, with this one, grab the chair with the cane to do the side move. So just for this one, just this time being, we're going to actually just use that they've grabbed the cane and to push pull motion to get you out of their hands. With kata, some people like kata, some people don't. I'm an advocate of kata, but the bunkai. Now, this is the what we call the classic bunkai for Gekasai Dai Itch. So I'm going to be in my yoi position. My attacker is going to attack me from the left with an upper punch. So I'm going to turn block the attack, I'm going to step through to punch him, he's avoided the punch, he's grabbed my wrist, I've pulled him off balance, swept his arm off, and then I turn to face this opponent here. It is very good for teaching kids how the moves work, but as for Bunkai for me, I don't find that relatively feasible as a technique. So I take it as the first move, as we're stepping, my attacker is going to be coming from the front. He's not going to be coming from the side. That's where generally 90% of your attacks are going to come from. So the first move for me is I'm stepping off his centre line. So if we'll go at a slight angle. So Callum's here, he's going to throw, we call this a classic chaff punch, whatever you want to call it. So as he's coming to attack, I'm coming off the centre line. I'm attacking, I'm taking this away. I wouldn't necessarily be attacking his arm. It is the nearest thing to me, depending on distance. The first move comes across. So it could be a smash to the face, to the side of the neck. It could be an open hand attack. If it's to the arm, I'm going to attack these pressure points here. It's not a straight strike, it's a scoop. And you can see what happened to his head there. I've then got this technique here. So it can either be a punch, a rolling strike, uh, for a forearm to the throat, across the nose, across these pressure points, across the stomach line, across the jaw. Again, your own interpretation. It could be, it's a grab. Same principle, I pulled him in for my yoi. This is coming across. I can then step through. I like this pressure point here, gallbladder 26. I'm not punching it, I'm hacksawing it across. And then my weight's coming down, and I'm doing a shoulder dislocation. Bunkai is to be taken, not to be taken too literally for the kata. You need to adapt and it will suit each situation. So every time we do bunkai, we'll say, what is it from a punch? What is it from a double grab? Is it going to change? I'm going to step off. I've still got the same technique. If it's one arm, I can do the same thing. I've suddenly got myself a figure of four, a shihanaji. Look at the techniques, look at what's in katas, look at other systems and you'll see moves that you've never seen before. Look at where the pressure points are, if you're into pressure points. Look at the feet, whenever we drop down, I'm not attacking somebody low, I'm bringing them down. If I've got a turn, I'm assuming it's a throw. That's the way I think. It may not be right, but it works for me. Let's move on Kaifa Man. So think of back of the head, so if I'm or whatever, back of the head. Okay. 
and cut the edge, and, and then, then push, push yeah, push down and push away. Now, if I was to try and put like a wrist lock on there, what's going to happen? Yeah, you no. Can't, you can't, right. So now, just literally on, so, so one, two, so in, right, elbows, elbows in tight. Now pull that in as tight as you can onto your chest. Now just twist your body. Do it gently, but twist one way or the other. Right. Okay, now shift your stance as well, like you would in the first move. So just turn off, off centre. Okay? So that's, you've also got, so from this, so you've got lots of BARs, strikes, round the ears, that kind of thing. Okay, so they're things, they go on, I'm not going to, so if I'm coming here, you bring it up and over onto my elbows or the knee, no, other way, so just, you're going to break the balance, bring them down, so it's just people forget about this way. Okay, so first move, you say, look, first move, second move, look, so we're here, we look, coming off. I mean, that's nifty. The concept is, you're standing there, yeah. and I'm going to attack you from the side with this lunge punch. Yeah. Yeah. No, attacks tend to come from the front, yeah. or the rear. So if you're standing, you wouldn't be standing in this position on that. But again, we'll, do, we'll talk about that in a second. So if you're in a blah blah blah, so if I'm coming, so I'm coming for a big, big punch, big swing punch. So if you just turn off the centre line, like you can. Now the first move, this one. So that's coming in. Now remember this point here, yeah. and you, the first bit is this rotation. So if you just strike it normally. Now, now do it with the rotation. Okay. Now that, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Same if you were to do it with the other side. Same one. Well, it's that rotation. Yeah. And again, breathing. So first that comes in. So what that does it makes my head come forward. You can. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And here, if I open this space up, if I'm coming in, I can be here, in there. It doesn't matter. You could. So from here, I'm coming this way. Coming out. Yeah, I can move control into that way. Yeah. That one. If it's from a grab, so you grab on this. And that's the same taking off. What I want the first thing is to get off, get off the centre line as we attack. So, for example, big, you know, the standing one, the whole cap issue, I want a big push. So, drop, and just push. Now, when you push it out of the way, Push it out of the way and the elbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So remember, this strikes straight up and over. Okay, you can see what you've done here. Yeah. 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 Right, now, you're going to step past. Yeah. Over there you got If you went to punch me, no, if you step and punch, as soon as you step and punch, right. I'm not there. Yeah. So, this is why we do the circular movement range. So as you step round, control with that, this hand, you can either okay. push it all here yeah. from that way. So you're here. Now you've got a point okay. here. Yeah. Go so as you step through, drive all of this right across here. Okay. So you're there. So remember, once you're there, control that. Okay. Step through. What? Right. That's dropped me down. Cool. Okay. Now step back into the next move. So okay. this leg's going to go all the way over there. Control that there. And that's going to come round. Get out of my right, touch your face. From that way. Yeah. Okay, so remember that's going to be coming this way. Yeah. So yeah. if I've got that, yeah. bring that cross into the elbow, break that, and this yeah. one's going to come. So you've got one more yeah. edge. Yeah. So that one's going to come all the way over yeah. and round. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. there's lots of weird things. So, yeah, so if you punch me, this is one, so I'm here, so I'm here. Yeah. We can either hacksaw across here, drive through, go and across here. So you've got your neck, the jaw here. I mean, could you even like come back? So you've got this thing here. Right, so you've got the stomach line here, the collar yeah. line. So if I do that gently. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, that was a gentle. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I've come to there, I haven't stepped past you. 
Now, the yes. NMRI is the exact snow clock chip. What I would do, go to my favourite, one of my favourites, control the input. Oh, see, it's here. Yeah, I can't do it, I can't do it, okay. Right, okay. I'll fuck one of the other ones I'm going to do. So I'll come off here. Yeah. What I've done then is I've come through. Now I'm going to go and step past you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually bring you okay. down. So now I'm going to yeah. So my, my get MRI is actually going to grab all your wrist yeah. yeah. and then come down. And I'm going to give you the classic. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. not going to do it. But you've got the... Oh, you've got that arm bar, yeah. lock off, okay. So, that's an interpretation. First to get you from behind, typical background, now just go into your eye. So from that, into your eye, you've made this shape, and you're gonna break my grip. As you turn, you're breaking off. If you grab hold of the thumb and do it, as well, from there, then just do the cat. That's the short one. Just go from here. So if you're going to go break, break your position with your weight. Doesn't have to be far. Now turn. No. Just turn to the head off. Okay. Yeah. Can you grab hold of anything? You got anything? Would you like actually keep your back to me? No. No. So again, yes, that works. Right. So we move this to this. Well then. So I'm just going to grip like that. Rather than stepping sideways, step behind me. Just step one leg behind me, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Right, you've actually cleared with the elbow, yeah. that's ready to go. Yeah. Wrap, wrap that round and up into your eye. Yeah. So that's in the eye position, where's that going to go? Yeah. Yeah. Face punch, yeah. you don't have to punch. Yeah. Okay, so as we know, here, 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 you've got all these points. That's all right, we're good. Thank you, you. The last bit, they get out of the right. Here. This way around, you're here, here for knock count. Bring it down. When you bring the stance down, you're not lowering your body, you're bringing them down. So even a simple one here, because I'm doing that, I'm going to bring you down, you're off balance, I've got a good stance. Okay? So the idea is to think what suits you. So you've got this move. Just doing this move before that. Here. Could be a strike. Think about when you put me around here. You've got any number of these stomach line, side of your nose. You've got follow up again, you've got this rotation. Again. So if I've got your arm, I pull you into your if I rotate that under your nose, yeah. and then as the last bit is always that. Did you just miss my hand? Bring it down. Gripping the stance, transferring all the way through. Itch. You can do it across the throat, you can do it across the chest. Even get an MRI, people say, oh, it's blocked for a lower kick. Yes, I could strike your hip. I thought they were needed. No, I wouldn't use it for shit. <laughs> but you've got this clearing motion again. Yeah. So whatever that is. But it's a hammer strike, all of these ways. This strike, we've done this a few times. Yeah. Breaks the straight arm. Yeah. 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 So what you need to think about, from a double grab, grab, choke, first you move. So if I grab it, so go for a choke, nice straight arm, I like this, and where you're on. So I'm going to turn off the center line, this is my first move. That's as my upper block, I can step forward with my punch. What's going to happen? Put off, and then I can bring it back if it's still going. If you come straight forward, so I'll bring it straight down. So straight in, like, go straight forward, and you've got figure four. Keep going through, and then if you step back with my arm, so you can twist and get out of the you can take it on there. First three moves again. Okay. So what we're going to do, take an example. So you're going to throw the punch. So I'll come off, that way I've done my block, and the same time, I bring this up. So I'm going to throw this down, so I can lead with this, I wouldn't hit you in the head. I'll bring that down, dragging that across your side. It's in the top of the top of Striking your collarbone, and I'm going to come down into Sheikha What I'm going to do is bring that over a bit. Bring that there, and I'm going to use my cane to roll that down. Okay. 
This pressure on here, if I put pressure on that, do you think? If I roll, it's a lot worse. Okay. So very simple. And then the next move of the cancer is to turn the edge. So what I would do then is hook you around the neck, and do my turn, and then I would be bringing you down. So, so when you hold the grip, so you want you so that way around. So you might be in a ready position or not. You know the punch is coming in. So this is the hand that's going to be there. At the same time, you want to bring this up, otherwise you're going to be too Yeah, Like you're rolling it down. Now I'm going to do the short stick. Sorry. The match is going to come from the wrist and strike down. Yeah. Okay. So if you miss the yeah. collar, now hit that straight down. So aim for one knee right. with the cane. Okay. Give, 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 give it a ding. Go, give it a ding. Right. Can you see what happens yeah. there? Bring this hand yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. What you want to do yeah. is get my arm. Like we did earlier, yeah. so you bring it over, okay. so the arm's going to be here, and you want your elbow on my elbow okay. with my elbow up. Okay. So you've done that, you've struck, so swing it underneath, mm -hmm. elbow, elbow, okay. this, and then we Now the trick to this yeah. is to step back and bring your elbow in, yeah. to there. Yeah. And you can yeah. grab the end of the cane yeah. and use that, drag it, yeah. and I'm going to away from you. Okay. This still hurts, you're still pushing it. So let's do it. Roll the camera straight away. Then hook the neck, and then all you're going to do is just spin very slowly down, and then whack. Whack. Go grab it. Go grab it. Go grab it. So it's going to be here. Both of your hands are going to be here. And then bring it over. And then. And if you really mean, use that there. Yeah. Yeah. On Google 20. Make sure you come back down. So you can get the nice. Yeah, play So here, I'm going to do it. So it's aiming you do the right place. From this point here, you want to exit the point here. So when they're crossing back, they should just come in. Yeah. You can't cross it over. Yeah. It's one thing. Yeah. Just do thumbs in or thumbs out. Thumbs in, because you want this. Yeah. Yeah, don't cross, so we could do it. Um, so you've got 
Yeah, it's better. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got you there for the seat for starters. Yeah. 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 Um, go again, mate. On there. 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 So my balance is on it straight away. Same thing? Can you go for it? Well, if you go for it, it's a good one. Oh, it's not just the same answer. Right. What do you do with this? Try it. Do you do this a couple of times? No, I'm going to come through. No, I'm here. I'm going to come through. Yeah. I'm over. Right. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, it's going to have to be a push. I can't... I can't be enough pressure by just turning the reach. Do the thing right. Just... Just keep on, you know what we did? Bring the clubs and push. Oh, yeah. And then the pipe. Thanks. Oh, yeah. So then. Yeah. 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 Now do it. Now you think about this, then it's about here, wasn't it? Yeah. You're still getting a lot of heat. Now do it without, just do, do just for the pain. Hacks. So there's, there's nothing coming through. No. I mean, it's, it's going to get a stern, you're going to get some pain, but here, you've actually got that yeah. force behind it. Well, the pants there, it's still pushing you back. Yeah. So that's with the weak man. Yeah. I think again with that, it's just knee. So if you have to clean the other way up, sand. I mean, into your chin, I mean, you've just enhanced. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's that prayer. And then, what? It's there. Yeah, I mean, also you've got if the punch comes through, if, if you've seen it, you're off. there. You're striking, as you said, today, you strike from there. Yeah. Come for here. Yeah, you've got that. And I've got the arm already. Yeah, or you could flick up okay. to the wall. Give me, give me. Yeah, I'm in that. Down. Or spank. Ish. And that can trade off. Yeah, well, if you flip, flip round again the other way. So again, yeah. same thing, back. I'll come through here. Right. Good, this way round. Oh, right. Uh, you mean that way round? Put back, back. So back. So there. From the there. Spank. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I say it's just. Oh, I'm back in there. Yeah. Rook. It's, I say every way you change the grip, it's a different technique. So if you turn the cane up the other way. Patch. And then. Or from here. Cool. In. And up for heart one, which is a lot yeah. more effective this way. Yeah. Come down from there. Strike, lift. And if you go around the neck. I was over the Yeah, I've got to get in the So it's. Yeah. Changing the grip. Two hands. If I use this. Yeah, I'm not a As a full force push. Yeah, I can't be wrong. You know? Yeah. It's kind of that plus that at the same time. So you're coming through there. But once I've got you, it's then a strike. And if it's this way. Usually, you step there. Yeah. Yeah. This is the way it's gone there. Straight to it. And as you found out, you can cut the back of it. And you can call my arm there. Yeah. That's the top. So again, just down through the counter, hooking up here. So if the cable's in this hand, you've got both feet up. I can come up for here, like this, come across him, go up, not to strike, yeah. through, yeah. in for there, pull down, that's enough. Give my eyes well. So it's not bad. We like it. Not bad, I'm fine. That's alright. Yeah, so again, it's going to come again. Do it, so double grab, threaten behaviour. So with that, that happens to see. I've got full contact. Yeah. So full, full yeah. Contact. That's what I say. So you just one hand. Just one hand grab, I'll come in from here. Yeah. You'll be pushing up to clear. So I know that you're now on the dead side. Yeah. Again, this is push and pull. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. Again. So when we do the techniques, we need to find the right one. Yeah, that's what I say at the moment. But we're just thinking it's going to be, even if I might.
that can be erased. Just do the counter type as I can roll there. Yeah. Grab, put on, and then. Yeah. 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 You can do it. There's not much of a change in there. Don't you have to do the counter on the same hand? No. So, I'll no. square. I mean, personally, I like that. Yeah. Going forward, that's what right. right. if you go to there, that's what first thing I like. So that's you've done the block to release, yeah. you've done the punch, the forward motion to put that on. Yeah. Now if you do the sweep and get out of the line, the side, which is the, yeah. Yeah. So again, yeah, people don't even think it's this, this, this. They think yeah. you've got to do that motion and that motion, and that motion, and then follow with that motion. Quite often it might be here to here. So it's a very small one. Can we give it one person? Watch your feet, okay? Okay? Because if you're coming from here, I'm smack, yeah. and I'm through. Yeah. Am I getting wrong? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? But even with here, I've got this through, I've got that up. If I come to there, yeah. I'm just wondering whether or not this. On here, no. Maybe on there, I might have a little bit more. Well, that's something else, training on different terrains. Yeah. Max, sticky, floor's nice, yeah. outside. Gravel dips. There's a lot. You might be on the slope. You get wheel spin a lot. Yeah. 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 Uh, one of the things we use, uh, we use a lot in cane masters, is the exercise bands. So we can use them with and without the cane. Well, I use these to practice the basic moves. So I always recommend trainers for these as well, because they will cut in. So again, doing your basics, uprising block as we did earlier, we've got some nice resistance there, we can focus our technique, focus our breathing, as always do both sides, we can, for the punch, building up those muscles, and then if we want to apply them with the cane. So if I feed the cane through the handles of the band, what I'm going to do for this, feet around my body, hook it on here, and then again I've got the same motion that I can use for punching. And then for stance work as well, step through, I can pr practice strength training for my Shikadach as well, even just holding it in position. Again, do some classic training, get some focus training on there. So, useful little bit of kit. You can adapt it to suit your exercises, but we will be doing an exercise system with the gym, with a personal trainer, giving advice exercising. If, especially if you've got a disability and if you can't go to a gym how we can do it using the training band and your trusty cane master's cane thanks for watching guys uh, we hope you find this interesting this is the first part of the Gekasa Daiich Kata for my journey there will be more to come please click on the link please share please comment let us know what you want to see any ideas that we may have missed again this is an evolving process it won't work without your input. As always guys, ring the bell, click the subscribe, free the fear.